citizen. Uh, I say, you two a couple of hippies? No. Uh, well, what you doing up here in these parts, if I may ask? Well, we're just uh, enjoying the wilderness. Uh, How are you today? Right. You know, uh, I don't mean to pry, but it looks to me like you two is uh, up to something. Oh, just you ain't running from no police officers or nothing like that. So Absolutely that. not, citizen. We are law-abiding. Because I don't like no pot growers up here on my mountain. Understood. Right. Unless they give some to old Pappy Alabaster, then it's all right. But, uh, you just, uh, you boys ain't thinking of going in them there woods or nothing, is you? Why would you ask such a thing? Uh, because if you was hiding from somebody, I would recommend you go hide in my barn right down yonder on the road here. Well, we'll certainly consider it, citizen. Okay, well, uh, I recommend no matter what you do, you keep this young lass out of them dangerous woods over there, because there's all kinds of dangerous stuff in there. Thank you for the warning. All right. We've got to get off this road. We do. We really have to get out of here. That guy seems really strange to me. Well, not just that, but he didn't even mention that we're dressed as superheroes, which means he already knows who and what we are. Well, where do we go? We'll take off through here and make our way through the countryside. Blasted cell telephone terminology anyhow. Uh, yeah, boss. They didn't take the bait. They's gonna pay a little bit of hardball on us, but uh, you don't send your thug men down here, and I don't show you where to track these here youngins. All right. So what's that? It's a, it's a dong diner? I think that says, don't go in there. That's strange. We've been out here for days, honey. Yeah, but your hair still looks fantastic. I just don't know if we're gonna be able to get out of here. It is a rough situation, I will admit. It doesn't look good. I'm starting to get hungry. I too am getting very hungry. Get out of my way! Hey, how's it going? Nice to meet you. I'm glad I ran into you guys. I had the same exact problem. Greetings, citizen. Nice to meet you, mate. Name's Old Dingo. Nightingale. Yes. I'm Hazmat, Citizen Crusader. Ah. Well, uh, I heard, I didn't mean to barge in on your conversation, but I heard you guys were a bit hungry. Well, indeed we are. Okay. Well, you're in luck. Because Old Dingo Jack's got a nice little romantic sport over here for a couple such as yourself. How'd you like to pull up on Old Dingo's table here? Well, that sounds incredibly convenient. All right, table for two, right this way, Garcon. <laughs> right this way, mate. Come on in. Take a seat and get comfortable right here. Oh, it's uh, the last resort cafe and lounge. I love what you've done with the place. It looks uh, marvelous. Oh, well, thank you very much. Now, uh, I'd like to start you two off, let you get nice and comfortable here. We've got the specials of the day. Now what we've got 
is lobster in pot roast. Delicious, if I may say. The chef is very excellent. But if you guys uh, would like to pick from our menu, we have a couple of other nice courses in there. Thank you, sir. And uh, Mrs. Well, I really like this, uh, what's this Hawaiian chicken here? Ah, yeah, yeah, the chicken. You know, the pot roast is really great. I, I gotta talk, I'm talking up the pot roast because I know the chef personally, and I've gotta say, I'm just saying. What do you, what do you like, honey? I don't know, this glazed lamb shoulder. Just that did look good, the glazed the lamb looks good. Steamed vegetables. Yeah. There, there, there is that, there is that. The lobster is out of this world. I've got to talk up the lobster, mate. Lobster. No, I'm not a, I, big, I'm fan not a big fan of lobster. That, I've never liked lobster. It's never been a big favorite. Right, right. So. Uh, you know what I do like, though, is this venison uh, platter. Looks really good. Did you see that, honey? Ooh, it does sound good. Yeah, that really looks and good. Fresh garlic cloves. Yeah. Ah, oh, mates, mates. Uh, the venison... I mean, sure, you know, it's it's around here, but it's it's stringy, right? And it, not only that, but it's very gamey as well. Well, it's on the menu. Yeah. yeah. So, so I take it you guys' minds are made up on on the venison. Well, I. It sounds I'm, delicious. It does sound delicious, and it is. I mean, yeah. it is on the menu. Right. Right. Venison. Venison. It is. As old Bingo Jack says. The customer is always right. I'll be right back, Mike. Oh. Where's he going? I believe he's going to get the venison. Holy crap. And that's how we're getting our dinner. It's Bambi. Oh, honey, it's not Bambi. It's Bambi's mom. Ah, well, mates, I gotta say, it was a bit of a tussle, but, you know, you served. That smells fantastic. Well, uh, now, mates, for the really good part, can I introduce you guys in some fine wine? Well, That's sure, yeah. Now, what I've got here is a very fine wine from my hometown of Fair Dinkum, Australia. That looks expensive. Ah, uh, well, mate, it is expensive and nothing but the best here at the uh, last resort, and nothing is too good for the lady, am I right? Yes, yes, you're right. All right, mates, that's what I like to hear. Now, what I've got for you, this is a very nice Alice White. Oh, that does smell good, doesn't it? Hmm, I'll keep this one. This, this one. No, this is some lower budget stuff here. What you want is some nice quality white here. So, if I might ask, what's the occasion? Well, we're a little lost in the wilderness, but may I ask, do you get many customers out here? Would you believe me if I said yes? No. No. Fair enough. Ah, uh, well, mate, you know, it, uh, it is our grand opening, and uh, you are our first customers. So, uh, let me start you out here. Ah, well, mate, how was the food? Wonderful. Oh, thank you. Very good. Yeah, well, uh, stick you with the bill there. Oh, jeez, yeah. Um, oh. Is there a problem? Well, I, uh. It was wonderful, but I, I, I'm going to have to come back. I mean, we, we were uh, lost, and I, I don't have any, any cash. Certainly not this much on oh, me. Mate, mate, mate. You don't have to worry about a thing. Old Dingo's got your back, mate. Don't forget, I'm your friend, and as your friend, I got you covered. We, uh, we accept all major credit cards. Oh. Solar powered. Dingo Jack's going green, you know. All yeah. natural and all that. Well then, let me just, uh, there you go. 
Now if I can get you to enter your pin right here. Oh. Well, mates, I want to thank you a lot for coming to the Last Resort Restaurant, and I hope you enjoyed your stay. And uh, at some point, if you're interested, look into one of our rooms in our, uh, our lovely golf specials. Well, we sure appreciate it, and once again, it, it was a unique dining experience, and uh, one we won't forget. Oh, that's Absolutely. what Absolutely. That's what I like to hear. Enjoy eating at the Last Resort. And don't forget to tell your friends, Mike. We are always out here, but it's worth the trip. Next time I have friends lost in the woods, I'll let them know. Well, mates, I surely do appreciate the business. Well, thank you, sir. I have a uh, map here, complimentary map. This will uh, take you right to civilization. Oh. Oh, that's fantastic. We were we were looking to get back to civilization. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Well. Well, thank you again, sir. Yeah. Again, uh, thanks. Good to see you guys, and uh, hope you have a lovely day. Thank yeah, you. Too. Well, we're not really far from civilization at all. No, and I thought our waiter was quite nice. He, he was. He was. Uh, the wine was a little dry. Yeah. I, I really did think the wine was dry. And for those prices, he was right about the venison. It was stringy. You know, we should have got the pot roast. Yeah. as superheroes. No, it didn't seem to bother him at all. It did bother me that he referred to both of us as boys, though, in the beginning. Makes me think something's weird about that guy. Where's he going? I believe he's going to get the venison. Okay, fire in the hole. You have more rounds? Oh yeah, I got quite a few. Good, we're gonna have to reshoot that. Oh, all right. That was <laughs> because awesome. She's all, Holy! No, no, no. That's it's a gun. It makes noise. All right. Uh, I just wasn't expecting so loud, but that's cool. Ooh, a little. I was starving to death myself. I realized though, if I opened up a restaurant, who dies when there's a restaurant around? It was the last resort. It was my only choice, and that's why I opened up this restaurant here. Now hold on a second, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, I'd love to see this guy pull out a lobster when we're miles away from the ocean. Oh, I bet he can't do it. 